Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio. Here with James Jacob Prash, live in England. Uh, Jacob, um, one of the believers had the question about Mike Pence. Has Pence ever publicly renounced Catholicism and officially left the Catholic Church? I hear so many toting his authentic conversion experience. How can they be sure? Do we have a blind spot? When Mike Pence attended church with Donald Trump after being elected, they attended the Lambeth Presbyterian Church, which is Evangelical Presbyterian Church in New Jersey. Mike Pence is in a precarious situation. The American Midwest electorally, and he is from Indiana, is saturated with Roman Catholics, hence Roman Catholic voters. It would not be in his obvious common sense political interest to represent himself as an ex-Catholic. He can say he's Catholic in the sense we all are, universal, members of the universal body of Christ, but he has refrained from using the term Roman Catholic. That obviously is not his belief. He no longer attends a Roman Catholic church. Uh, I'm a Catholic, you're a Catholic in the sense of universal, but we're not Eastern Orthodox Catholic or Roman Catholic or Armenian Catholic. We are simply Catholic, part of the universal body of Christ. I accept the fact that Mike Pence was born again, that his beliefs are no longer in accordance with the full teaching of the Roman Catholic Church. They are more, they are mainstream evangelical. But because of his situation, it's an issue that he does not play up in the media. He wants to encourage people to vote for him. There are Catholics, and a Catholic vote in the Midwest and in states like Louisiana and Maryland and in certain major urban centers like Boston and so forth where there's a, a big Catholic vote that he requires to support his pro-life position, his anti-abortion position. Now I will say nothing in favor of Roman Catholicism because of its false belief system, but I acknowledge the fact that there are many Catholics who are pro-life there are many Catholics who, unlike Pope Francis, will not condone same-sex marriage in any sense. There are many Catholics who will hold to moral values akin to my own, and I can collaborate with them on those issues, providing it is not at the expense of the gospel and not at the expense of accepting Roman Catholic beliefs. Well, that's the situation Mr. Pence is in. I think when a believer is in government and he upholds biblical values, we need to pray for them and support them in any way we can. He is in a difficult situation. Please pray for him. He and his family need and deserve our prayers, as does Mr. Trump, who is not a believer. May he become one. Thank you so much for your question. God bless. Dear friends, greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Morial catalog on the Morial website, morial.org. But... In this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. 
the dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be shadows of the beast, shadows of the beast, how the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, the Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.